Hey everybody, welcome. It's Baffling Cyclops. I'm David. I'm Pepper Proxy. And we're here for another hot episode of, <laughs> of Talk Between Pepper and David. Yay! I like that. So, uh, this week you found a hack on TikTok. I think I found many. But the one that you used on TikTok. Remind me. We had to buy ice. Oh, yeah. Okay. So on TikTok, they, there were m- multiple people that showed this hack. Mm-hmm. But then the two guys, Ivy and I can't remember the other dude's name. One's Australian. Um, they say, is it um, like, th- is it real or not? Mm-hmm. But they use different words. And um, you put, you shove a ton of ice down your garbage disposal. Just tons. And then you put some dish water or dish soap down there. And then you turn your garbage disposal on. And with cold water. I think you first turn it on with no water. And then yeah, it goes. Right. And right. then you put a little cold water in there. And then you turn the hot water on. Right. And it goes. So I think we went through five pounds of ice. <laughs> So, and what was your judgment on how valuable it was to do? Um, I don't know. How, I think our garbage, I think I keep it clean anyway. And it's reasonably new. Yeah, I installed it. Yes, you I'm, did. I'm really proud of my skills. Um, so, he, I'd say yes, thumbs up. But it didn't, like, in all the TikTok videos, there's like a, t- it turns, the, the the water turns black and there's like black water and ice and it's all, but ours just like turns like a white froth. Yeah. Well, ours is relatively yeah. clean. Yeah. So I'd but imagine. But it's fun it, to do. If you live in a rental house that probably hasn't changed this garbage Ugh. disposal in 10 years. I'd imagine that's where your uh, black ice froth comes from. <laughs> it's so gross. It's like a, it's like a, uh, some kind of rotting slushy or icy. Yikes. Right? Yeah, for sure. But it also, TikTok made me buy something else. What's that? Well, it was TikTok and like Flipboard, Bustle, or one of those sites. Um BuzzFeed, I think it was. But it's this little stick. It's a long stick, and you can put it into your dryer. Yeah. And, you you know, we clean out the dryer vent every time. Right. But Alicia made me terrified about dryer fires. (laughs) Alicia did? Yeah, she did. Because she sent me something, and I was like, oh, my God, I didn't even know I was supposed to clean out my dryer like like that. And she's like, I didn't know that either. Um, but it's this long stick with a fluffy end, and it can bend in different directions, and you put it down into your dryer vent, even past, like, the screen. Uh-huh. And it gets all the bit the bits and pieces. Wow. Is there a lot down there? I don't know. I haven't gotten it yet. I just placed the order. <laughs> I'm thinking there's not going to be that much down there. You never know. We're pretty diligent about cleaning out the the dryer. We are, but you never know. Yeah, maybe one of the raccoons got down there. Or a bird. Or a bird. That did happen at our old house. But that was that giant tube in the back, the exhaust from the dryer. I think that's the one that Alicia terrified me about. But I think this thing is long enough to get some of the tube. <laughs> so this is basically like if if the um, dryer had a digestive tract. Yes. You put it in the mouth and it would go all the way down and out the other end. I hope. <laughs> so it would go out the pooper. It's a colonoscopy. The, the dryer pooper. It's a colonoscopy for the dryer. <laughs> Wow. And through the mouth. Yeah, instead of through the butt. (laughs) (laughs) So, that's something. What's going on with you? Not too much. I I did read an interesting article this week on TikTok influencers. Oh, tell me more. I thought you'd be interested. And it was about how the new thing is they are... um, Forming, they're renting mansions in L.A. 
like someone, a millionaire will come up with money and yeah. they will rent a mansion and then fill it full of influencers and call it an influencer school, basically. Well, it's funny because I know a little bit about it, too, because it's they're YouTube stars, too. Right. So it's not just TikTok, but YouTube as well. Well, in Harper's, um, Barrett Swanson, uh, who's a college professor, went and lived in one of the houses for a while. Oh, poor Barrett. <laughs> and it was during it was during pandemic times. Oh, poor Barrett. And it sounds very fraternity broy in the house. And the one yeah. he lived in was called Clubhouse FTB, and the FTB Ugh. stands for For the Boys. Is that the one that had the um, sexual assault? I don't know. One of them did, or one of them did. I don't know, but he doesn't mention it in oh, the poor article. Barrett. What did he say? Well, it was very interesting because he teaches kind of a an internet identity course. Like that's one of his big things. And he was saying how um, he has people more and more anxious and full of anxiety about social media in his classes and wanted to become Instagram influencers. And so he wanted to go see what their lifestyle was like. And he So it's Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. Well, this particular one is TikTok for the most part. Okay. And the mansion costs $35,000 a month to rent. Okay. It's an $8 million mansion. They invite these basically teenage lower 20 boys to go and live together. And bros, bros, and who pays for it? Like somebody who takes a cut. You so you okay. go there and okay. you take a cut of it. And um, there's a benefit to living there because, of course, you build up your followers by getting linked in other people's fo- videos and appearing in other people's videos. Yeah. So they all make videos, but um, it was so stupid the whole thing that I knew it would appeal to you in its stupidity. Yeah. Because they basically have to make one video a day. Okay. That's kind of their their thing. And some of their bros come and pop in and some of them. Yeah, they all live there. So they're all like, you know, not none of them seemed super smart. (laughs) Let's put it that way. Maybe they're charismatic. But they're in they're in college. So they're hot guys, theoretically. (laughs) Wait, wait. If you're in college, does that necessarily make you hot? <laughs> I, from what this guy said, basically they're physically attractive guys. But what does college have to do with it? They're young. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, young people are more like theoretically no, more I, attractive. I, no, on I agree, but I don't know where college like folds in because I don't. Well, think... just college age people. There you go. Okay. I'm like, I don't think any of them really go to college. Well, some of them did. They oh, gave up okay. college to join the TikTok So they're no longer community. college they're no, students. Not, no longer college students. But um, I'm pro that. So the one interesting thing that I thought you would enjoy is, uh, according to him, the a poll in 2019 asked um, people between the ages of 13 and 38 if they would, given the chance, would become a social media influencer, um, 54% said they would. Whoa. Yeah. And Really? 23% of them thought they already were a social media influencer. So that's 23% of the total. Well, 23% of them thought that. So yes, it's 23%. Yes. Yes. So they think they're already really? influencers. Yeah. So it's a huge number of people. That's like their dream job. They would give up whatever they were doing uh-huh. to become a social media influencer. And some of these guys make $7,000 a month. Well, that, that's not bad. Especially if you're living in a mansion rent free. Right. Well, that's great. <laughs> that's a mm-hmm. tremendous amount of money. But you can't save for your retirement with that amount. Yeah. Yes, you can. Okay. I doubt if they are, though. No, I don't think they are, but that's (laughs) plenty to save for your retirement. They all live in this house, and they have a whiteboard with ideas in the house, and he transcribed one day what was on the whiteboard. So I wanted to read to you the ideas that these guys had come up for their videos, which is giving them anxiety, 
Because they said it's like school and you have to come up with a new project every day. Yeah. For the school. Okay. What did Barrett have to say about this whiteboard? So the whiteboard said hoops challenge. That was the first one. Okay. Uh, desert video. That's the second one. These are ideas. Pranks. Yikes. <laughs> I li- I kind of like the first two, especially the second one. I'm like, ooh, what would you do in the desert? Bake a cake? But that's not really an idea. Okay. Baking to a me, cake in the desert would be. It would be, but. But prank socks. This is not an idea. No. Here's skydive. Mm-hmm. Not an idea. Roasts. So I guess insulting one another. Oh, because I'm making a pot roast. I'm like, oh, I'd like to watch <laughs> yeah. these little um, college <laughs> age boys make roasts. Is that That's your dream? Great. You're like, <laughs> well, I, college I, age I, buddies I really a... love a good cook. David Seymour is doing a great job. So, um, tuxedos. Yikes. Bathrobes. <laughs> Oof. Roommates control my day. That That's an idea. It's a bad one, but it's an idea. Hide and seek. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's what's written on the whiteboard oh, yikes. at Clubhouse FTB. Yikes. For the boys. Yikes. You, I'll send you the article you, so you can read it and include it in the newsletter, but they are very, bros. very much <laughs> bros. And at one point he describes they're picking teams for a basketball game. For hoops. That's For the hoops. second, yeah, <laughs> second <exactly>. idea. <laughs> and and uh, so they're trash talking one another uh, about like who should be on yeah. what team. And as soon as they form the teams, everyone leaves except for the college professor and one other guy. And he's like, what, what happened? Are mm-hmm. they going to play basketball? And the guy's like, oh, no, they all have ADHD. They, they can't focus that long. They thought the team forming was the thing, and they're all going to go off and do something else. So they don't actually play basketball. They just go through the process of forming the teams to play basketball, and that's enough for them. And then they go off and do whatever it is that they do. Huh. In- that's very interesting. <laughs> so one of the guys in the house and his uh, girlfriend, they got a, a, a deal from Raising Cane's. The chicken place. Oh, the place. chicken place. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh huh. He and his girlfriend they were paid uh, fourteen thousand dollars and sixty thousand dollars to eat a chicken tender like Lady in the Tramp style and ended in a kiss. Okay. So it's like ten second video. Okay, but that is like seventy five thousand dollars. Well, seventy four thousand dollars. They must be like fairly big influencers. Yep. At least one of them is. Right. So they... Uh, Let's do it, David. <laughs> you need a chicken tendy with me like that I way? would eat a chicken tendy with you like a lady in the... Tri- it's Pepper and Davy. <laughs> so... <laughs> Trying Raising Canes. We'll see, we'll see if we can get $7,500 rather do than you think chicken fix? Do you think Chicken Fix would No, our, our local food truck probably doesn't... Uh, doesn't uh, value our our uh, YouTube TikToks that much. No, but I do have to give them a shout out. Not sponsored. Chicken Fix is really great. Yeah. If you're in Seattle, try to find them. It's fun. It's good. The family's awesome. Yeah. So, but I thought seventy four thousand dollars for that video was pretty crazy. And what's interesting is the influencers think it's crazy too. They're like, I have no idea why they would pay me this amount of money. I wonder if it's a lot less expensive for the corporation to do that than have traditional um, commercials. Because nobody watches TV, and especially they don't watch television commercials. Well, and they don't have to pay the production costs because the person does all the work. Yeah. And um, they have a dashboard in TikTok where you can, as an advertiser, look at influencers and choose who you want. So they all guide their content by what demographic they want to appeal to that they think the the, uh, advertisers will want. That makes sense. So... And on the one hand, he says, they they all say like, oh, this is giving everyone a political voice, so it scares governments. No. (laughs) I I don't agree with that. On the other hand, none of them will talk about politics online 
because they don't want to hurt their demos for their influencer Well, not only that, like, I, at least on TikTok, TikTok really censors their um, the content. Sure. And I think for sure they censor, like, political stuff. Yeah, so it, this is like censorship by money. Yeah. Because you can still say whatever you want. You but just you don't can't. Care. They'll take your videos down. I know. I've had one taken down. <gasps> Should we talk about it? Well, it was just the rubber chicken finger puppet video. It was so dirty. It, it wasn't was dirty. dirty. Oh, I think dirty. it was dirty. <laughs> it wasn't you dirty. You inserted Well, you didn't, but somebody... I did. Okay, you inserted your finger in the keister of a rubber chicken finger puppet. I never liked those things. I didn't like that video. I thought it was filthy. And now it's in the last chance catalog. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> what all right. Um, the one of the one of the people that formed the mansion said yeah. that he thinks in the future what's gonna happen is instead of like hiring influencers, each brand will have its own mansion in LA. And just hire people to move to the mansion and produce videos. Makes sense. And then just kick them out and get in yeah. new people. Yeah. And that's that's how it's going to be run because he's like, this is a very weird system to come to a random mm-hmm. house and then wait for people to um, become an influencer to and then wait for them to be hired. And that makes so much sense because like there has to be a way to market to the masses. Yeah. And it's no longer television. So what is it? Well, it's interesting to me that it seems like TikTok's algorithm actually favors these these mansions. Like the people who live in these mansions do well yeah. on on TikTok and they like it because they could easily Shut off all of those people's accounts. Yeah. TikTok. Because as you said, they'll they'll turn you off for nothing. Yeah. So they could even say, like, if you live in one of those mansions, we're shutting your account off. And they choose not to. So they're actually encouraging this mansion culture of TikTok influencers throwing parties in the middle of a pandemic. Yeah. TikTok is actually supporting it with all that money. Yikes. But... Um, Clubhouse FTB. <laughs> I hate this Clubhouse. Clubhouse FTB? You don't yeah. like it for no. the boys? No. I yeah. hate it. Because <laughs> there was. I, I don't know which one it was, but a mansion. I, I thought it was more like a YouTube mansion. Right. There was like, there were issues. I'll just say that. Yeah. And so then six weeks after this professor went there, Clubhouse FTB mansion, no longer financially viable, shuts down. Okay, so after um, Barrett did that, did Barrett have something to do with it shutting down? Nope. Or Okay, Just so did to. some of those people go to other mansions, or what happened? Well, what uh, happened? The boys scatter. I'm reading a quote. The boys okay. will scatter across Los Angeles. Some will head back home, and Baron will post a TikTok. Baron was one of the guys from the house. Wasn't Baron the guy who wrote the article? No. Oh. And Baron will post a TikTok in which he enjoins his followers to engage with his post because he's trying to afford his own apartment. Ugh. <laughs> and. It was one other thing that was really interesting is he said they always encourage people to comment and like, but they don't um, they don't really care or read the comments that mm-hmm. much because they just want the engagement. They don't really care what people have to say. Yeah. So anyway, right. I just who wrote that, was, that article? Um, the author of the article is named Barrett Swanson. So you understand why I got Baron and Barrett confused. Sure. <laughs> yes. And, and they are not the same person. I so. know. <laughs> so um, that, I just thought that was an interesting lifestyle choice. Because $7,000 a month would be, uh, for making a TikTok video every day, would be a very good amount of money. Yeah. Yeah, it would. I, it, I just, it just seems so stressful to me. I don't think that would be enough. Well, that was kind of the thing of the article is they were saying it was very stressful to have to come up with content every day. <laughs> yes. And like if you, we reference that whiteboard for sure. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's rough roasts. But how cute would it be? It's how cute would it be if there was like 
a young man or woman, they're like 21. I want them to be legal, so 21. And they're making different <laughs> roles. They're I want like, them to be legal. I do, because they're going to be cooking with wine. So <laughs> they're like, I'm going to make a lamb roast. I'm going to make a chicken. I'm going to like do a pot roast. That would be so flipping cute. I would like and subscribe to that. So you want wholesome college-age boy cooking videos on uh, TikTok? Or like... Or like down in their down in the outs, women they're twenty one, they have tattoo. Not that tattoos are bad, but tattoos. They've worked at a um, maybe they're like sex workers, but they're making roasts. I would. <laughs> I think you're digging a deep hole. No, I would love that. I was like, good for you. You don't want to be a sex worker anymore, and you just want to like become an influencer, and you're gonna make roasts, and you're twenty one, twenty two. I would like tell every single person I knew to like like and subscribe to that. Okay. It's, it's hard out there. It sure. Is. <laughs> um, <laughs> um so I will go back to Clubhouse uh FTPP. Wait, wait. Where's that? Clubhouse Wait. for the Pepper Proxy. Oh, okay. Like, where, where'd the bee go? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I think that's all we have for this week. Awesome. Thank right. you. I love you. I love you too. Okay. Bye. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe to this podcast. And to read our show notes, sign up for our newsletter at bafflingcyclops.com.